An update on the winter storm making its way in later this afternoon and into this evening. Out ahead of that, clouds have been thickening across the area. There have been a few sunny breaks. There have been a couple of snow showers, but they are not involved with the storm system itself, which truly starts to work into southwestern areas of the state after sunset, and then will start to move northeastward across the state during the evening. Winter weather advisory is posted for the White Mountains. Winter storm warning south of there start later on tonight, and the highest amounts expected to be in the southern half of the state toughest travel is expected to be overnight tonight and into tomorrow and the snow itself is likely going to be the biggest impact from this and all the cleanup that eventually is involved. Now, as far as the texture of the snow, a fluffier snow for the North Country, a little bit colder there, while it'll be a wetter snow in southern parts of the state. Power outage chances will likely be on the lower side with this. There will be some gusts over 25 miles an hour, especially closer to the coastline, and we can't rule out a few outages, but the threat is certainly low overall across most of the state. Travel impacts start to ramp up later on tonight. They will be highest overnight tonight and tomorrow morning. Morning, and then starting to improve from there with cleanup tomorrow evening after this winds down. There is the area of low pressure. It will pass to our south, keeping the colder air in place locked in. That means no changing to a mix or rainfall out of this system. As I mentioned this afternoon, we could have a couple of flurries or a few light snow showers. And then here comes the snow. The darker shades are going to ind indicate the potential of over one inch per hour type snow overnight and tomorrow morning. A lot of those will be focused in the southern half of the state where we're expecting the higher amounts out of the system. And then as we go into the afternoon, it turns lighter and then it eventually ends going into the evening with quick clearing setting up overnight. We will have some sunshine in between systems for the day on Monday. That will be with some sunshine and then another system moving in with clouds thickening Tuesday. Same timeline arriving later in the day in southwestern parts of the state, but with the low to our west, this one is going to likely be a warmer system, meaning the potential is there for rain in the southern half of the state and any sort of wet snow trying to change to rain up north and with a low passing to our west, a front eventually will come through sometime Wednesday morning and could mean gusty winds as well. So we'll keep tabs on that as we get closer. But as a one system at a time situation continues, general 6 to 12 inches of snow for central and southern areas of the state. The amounts will trail off quickly, especially north of the White Mountains, where there will be likely some shadowing going on and a little bit less on the other side. Seven day forecast has the other system coming in Tuesday evening. Temps mainly in the 30s to lower 40s, despite the milder air for Wednesday afternoon.